Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. I'm getting gas before I head out on tour. I'm using my dad's truck right now. I've uh, got kind of an interesting story to tell you guys. It's been a it's been a crazy week. So I was driving last week and I went through a flash flood and hit some huge water. What? Oh, that's okay. Casey's gonna get me a Snickers. He's a good friend, but they're out. Dang it, it's just been a rough week. <laughs> Borrowing my dad's truck and all of our gear is here and it's not ideal, but we're surviving. We're going to Nebraska, staying with my parents tonight, and then um, going up to South Dakota for tour rehearsal tomorrow, so. So this is Portable Talk Show 2.0. I was talking to Zach, and we're discussing gear. Um, so Zach, how do you feel about gear and if it limits you as a videographer, like do you need good gear? If you can tell a good story, you don't have to have the best camera, but yeah. if your gear starts to limit your storytelling, let's say you have like really important dialogue and like your microphone is super mm -hmm. crappy and loud, that's like gonna take away from the audience's experience. Yeah, so good content first, supplement it with really good gear because then it will look good too and sound good. What's your favorite food? That's I'm a, a terrible I'm question. a huge sushi fan. Really? Yeah. In the back, you can see all of our equipment. <laughs> what if it was all just hanging water? on for dear life? Do you prefer shooting warmer or colder? Kind of like how you supplement your content with your gear. I like to supplement the story with the with colors. But it's happy, like orange, red, yellow. I love how you're driving with your knees while talking with your hands. <laughs> I know, I'm a hand talker. <laughs> Can't help it. Why is Panasonic so much better than Nikon? What? You can't <laughs> ask me that. That's cheap. We stopped on the side of the... Oh! I just wanted you guys to see this. I wanted to see this. It's beautiful. Pack up the gear. Oh, should see you. We'll see you guys in Nebraska. And we'll see my mom and dad. That'll be cool. See you there, people. Hello? Hey, little punk. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Made you guys some sunshine pizza. Oh, I was hoping you had food. Best mom ever. Because they need it. Oh, that's kind of So cool. say, oh my gosh. There is a spider. What? Yeah. Oh, let's call it a good. It's a spider. Where? Like underneath the counter. Let's take a little look at it. He's hiding. Oh, oh there he is. Ew. There he goes. Crunch I, oh, 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 like, like, oh. I didn't want to like. Goes back you. to eating the pizza. <laughs> wow. And that's how the Mayfields handle our problems. This is the very first camera that I ever made videos with. It even has the flip out screen. You can vlog with it. I have a confession to make. I haven't done laundry since before our last tour. What setting should I use? Uh, um, I like wrinkle control. Well, Is that for old people's clothes? My mom shared a quote with me today. This is really encouraging for me, so I wanted to encourage you guys with it. So, the quote's by a woman named Catherine Coleman. No condition or set of circumstances is in itself a calamity to be feared. Always remember that it is your reaction to it that makes it a Waterloo or a triumph. And a Waterloo is a, a defeat. So, it's, it's not all about what we go through, it's about how we go through it. Thank you guys for watching, appreciate it. Peace. It just like doesn't matter what you're going through. If you just stop and see the moment, it's, everything's okay. Right? It's so awesome.